Lindsay's making work now. She's getting there. I'm gonna get it with my hand then. Sweet. Yep, I got it off. All right, let me jump in and help you out. Cause I'm bad, ass, yo. She's bad, weep. I was, we've been watching way too much Breaking Bad. Way too I much. really just wanna say, cause I'm bad, ass. You just said it though. <laughs> I did. We stayed just outside the town of Palmer. Had a really classy spot camping last night. Inside of the road. Kind of tucked away. Gets a little shady. There's a couple guys that live with tarp tents down by the river. We're not going to look at them. This river is hauling butt. Remember the name of it? Of what? The river? Nick River? This one? Yeah, K N I K. Yeah. Of course, yesterday, Everest decided she wanted to jump in. And uh, fortunately, she got into a place where she could get out really quick. Because the way it's moving through here and that tree scares the heck out of me. She'd get caught in that. And so would I, because I'd be in after her. Just carving down a new area. <laughs> yeah. All this is breaking off. Where are we headed? Uh, we're going to check out the Madden Madanuska Glacier. Oh no, we're going to the reindeer farm. <laughs> we're doing that first. You, I've got Glacier on the mind. Because you wanted to go to Reindeer so bad. I want to go see Reindeer. And you just forgot. <laughs> I was looking at Glaciers and I thought Glacier. They're everywhere in Alaska. There's nothing special anymore. It is special. Special. Mountains and Glaciers, no special. It's So cute. Hi. I'm Chris. You just want me for my food. What's up, homeboy? Poor homegirl. Slowed down quite a bit, but it's like literally every place we 
tell people. I, Valdez wasn't really on our list either until we started telling people our route. They're like, oh, you're going to love Valdez. Yeah, everyone said you got to go there. You got to go there.
sea lion out there, and now he just disappeared. Probably the sea lion. Yeah. And now he came up pretty close, now he's way out there, but he was jumping around. There he is. He's having a ball. Oh, he's got himself a fish. It's in his mouth. <laughs> oh, the seagulls are going after him. He's throwing it around. Oh, they know. They get a... I wonder why they don't just catch on themselves. Seagulls? Yeah. You see how big these fish are? They're taking his meal. He worked he's, so hard for it. He's sharing. Oh, is he? Yeah, he threw it around. Oh, there's another one out there, Chris. See him? Jumping around out there, either an otter or another sea lion. Definitely, see, see, look, they're all coming in. Look, see them all. Okay. The camera's moving on its own. Bring it out of the rain. Oh my gosh, there's like three or four or five of them. That is so cool. Grizzly. It's about 
about the only animal we haven't seen yep. for sure on this trip. We saw a brown bear, but I don't think that was a grizzly. So a grizzly is like the only thing that we haven't seen yet. And uh, maybe we'll get it. Check in the box. No coffee yet. It's too early for coffee. No coffee. Yeah. But we have we gotta get there. So on we go. I say that a lot, on we go. Maybe we should just change our name to onwego.com. It's probably already taken. Yeah. On we go. Thankfully, we haven't slept in a parking lot of one yet. Ah, oh, truck. Truck, truck, truck. Huh. What? what Please got? don't laugh. What? Unless George? that, unless that's a good thing. No, George can probably fix it in no time at all. Problem is George isn't here. Yeah, well, we've got a fuel leak. The, um, we don't? Yes, we do. It's the pipe that comes out of it. Yeah. It's not attached. No way. Yeah. Huh? So when I put this in there, the pipe jiggles around. So it just bounced loose. Yeah, but I don't know how to secure it. Maybe somebody in there would know? It's worth asking. So they make this fuel filter with a hard rubber cap, one inch. So the stupid thing is that if you torque it too much, you strip it, which is what's happening. Try to see how dirty this thing is. Actually, grab a towel off the box over there, babe. Yeah, I can. I'm not gonna open it until I have a towel to put it in. It's definitely full. Well, hopefully, that's all it was. I think that's all fuel. I think that separator only takes the water because the water's probably heavier. Yeah, this all should have drained out. It doesn't, though. It's just a water separator, Chris. It doesn't drain everything. Right. Now I'm pretty sure when I changed the filter before. Oh, I could hit it again. You want me to hit the thing? I need to remember that the gasket's on top. Okay. Because it needs to come off when we put the new one in. Time to change out this little part. valve on the back of the fuel bowl. I need a longer ratchet, so... It's a pain getting the bolts out, just because of the location. Other than that, it's pretty easy. We'll assess that. After the fact, if it's hard taking it apart, it's going to be harder putting it back. So if I got the camera, when the truck hood is up, that must mean Lindsay's being the mechanic. Her little hands are getting back in this place where I can't get. We know now why mechanics are worth so much. Well, we knew. We've always known. Could be a crappy ratchet. Which is a craftsman. By the way. By the way. It's supposed to be the best. Could be that we're just not smart enough to know whether we can take some things off without causing more trouble to our truck. We can create some more space, maybe it'd be easier to do. There's a whole lot of ifs, but Lindsay's making work now. 
she's doing that. I'm gonna get it with my hand then. Sweet. Yep, I got it off. All right, let me jump in and help you out. Cause I'm badass, yo. She's bad. Weep. I was, we've been watching way too much Breaking Bad. Way too I much. really just wanna say, cause I'm badass, bitches. You just said it though. <laughs> I did. Parents don't watch this with their children. PG-13. Children don't watch this. Or rated R. We're hoping the culprit is that this gasket right here is raised and nice and there's virtually no gasket right here. That's what we're hoping. Than something bigger. In Valdez, Lindsay was the master mechanic. She <laughs> swapped out that water, water separator, separator valve. Water separator valve. And uh, we've been driving for about two hours now. We left Valdez. We just went past Glen Allen and we're on our way to talk. We just pulled over to make some coffee. Uh, probably a little too late at night, but um, made some coffee and checked underneath and everything looks good. So yeah. that, that uh, let's hope it works mentality we have is, uh, is doing all right for now. So um, we'll just keep on keeping on until the next thing breaks down and then yeah. try not to get too worked up about Hopefully it. Hopefully it's for a while. Yeah. It's never anything we, we predict. Face. Really, never anything we can predict. We always say, "Well, we just fix that. We know that won't break again. It's always something else." So this truck has served as well. It is 461,314 miles. Everybody who sees it, everybody who sees it, says that's a great engine. Every mechanic that's looked at it said, "No, no blow by, blow back, blow by, no blow by." Everything looks great, so we're proud of it. It's our little red rocket.